Get on the guitar, uh, please, Python. Uh, four. Yeah. Python? Uh, Python, actually, um, my last project I did Python. Uh, okay, I will handle that. Uh, that. Okay. So, have you worked on Azure DevOps as a CI CD pipeline? Ah, yes. Okay, so what are the, like, uh, have you set up uh, the from the scratch, like about CI CD pipeline? Like, yeah. so we have get a chance to set up the entire CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps. So, are you able to do? Yes. So, can you show me, can you tell me about the workflow of CI CD pipeline? Hello? Yeah, can you tell me the workflow of CI CD pipeline, how it works? Uh, so starting we have will write as a procedure document uh, whatever the parameters uh, like uh, we are using declarative pipeline hello yes yes am i audible yes am i audible you? yes sir, you are audible yeah 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 i have set as uh, declarative pipeline uh, from the scratch like we are using a uh, freestyle jobs here so we have uh, migrated from freestyle job to uh, pipeline, declare to pipeline. So I was a part of this uh, migration part. Okay. Uh, we have a we have a stage. In that we have a parameters. Okay. In that we have uh, in that we have a stage uh, uh, testing part. Okay. Inside, uh, inside that uh, stage steps, we are declaring the whatever the uh, steps we want to describe okay. with respect to the uh, job execution. Okay. So inside that we have a, <coughs> a Python script which we are internally calling to the another job. Okay. So, uh, type of application you have worked on, like it's a Java base or .NET, Python, which one? Uh, uh, we have uh, part of uh, C++ uh, uh, framework. Okay. C++ framework. Okay, C++. So, which build tool you have used? Uh, Maven build tool. Maven build tool. Okay, yeah. which one you have worked on, like is the uh, YAML based or classic editor? Uh, we are using uh, Visual Studio as an editor. No, no, YAML based pipeline, like two types of pipeline, YAML based and classic editor, which one you have worked? Uh, I, I was working on uh, declarative pipeline, YAML pipeline. YAML pipeline, okay. So, how do we integrate Sonar Cube? Sorry, I did not get you. Uh, how do we integrate Sonar Cube with your Azure DevOps? Mm, Azure, uh, we have installed a plugin and we are uh, directly uh, syncing up with the job actually. In the Jenkins, I have installed the Sonar Cube plugin and internally uh, connected with the credentials part. Okay. So, currently you are working on which client? Yes. What's your client name? Sorry? What's your client name? Currently, which client you are working from which to which duration? Yeah, now I am working on a client actually. Uh, like, what are the duration from which year to which year? Um, actually, it's uh, 2018 to till yet. Till yet. Uh, this is a long process uh, um, a client actually. Uh, I mean, a long process pro um, project. So, uh, since uh, about one and a half year, I'm working. Sorry? Who is the other person who is giving the technical interview? Sorry, come again? No, no, I am getting two voices. One voice is yours and another is an, another person. No, yeah. Hmm? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, sure.
Okay, I'm taking the recording. Let me start. Yeah. Okay, and so when you have start your career, which uh, year? Two thousand six. Sorry. Two thousand seventeen. 2017. Yes. So which company? Yeah, my career starts. Yeah, testing expert. Is a company name testing expert? Yes, level three company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me the ten commands of Terraform. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, tell me the ten, uh, ten commands of Terraform. Uh, ten, Terraform init, Terraform plan. Okay. Um, hello. Hello, are you getting my voice? Yes, yes, I'm getting your voice. Yeah, Terraform, uh, Terraform refresh. Okay. Um, Terraform apply. Okay. Um, and uh, 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 Terraform destroy. Okay. Um, Edge. Yeah. Uh, okay, what you have done in Terraform, which type of infrastructure you have created? Uh, actually, um, I mostly done in making object of one module to available for other module to in a high level. Okay. I, uh, uh, I will clearly explain actually. Um, uh, first an output variable to, is to be defined in a resource configuration. Um, until you don't uh, declare resource uh, configuration detail, the scope of local to the module. And then uh, now you have a declared output variable of module A to be used in other modules configuration. Um, I'm, uh, I mean a brand new last key name should be created by you and uh, value be kept equal to module A and output variable. Um, no, I'm asking about which type of infrastructure you have worked on. You have deployed any cluster or you have deployed any virtual machine using Terraform? Yeah, resource TF and uh, variable TF. Source TF variable TF. No, no, I'm asking like, have you deployed any virtual machines using Terraform? Yeah. Yes. Created. Yeah. Created, right? Yes, yes. Created, yes. Yeah, yeah, you have created, but uh, which type of resource you have created? Have you created EC2 instance or Azure VM? Okay. Uh, EC2. EC2 instance. EC2 instance. In need of this. We create two EC2 instance in different different locations. So what are the variable we have to define? Um. Uh, resource origin. Hello. Yes, yes. Okay, I yeah, go. Re resource origin. Okay. Um, I you work on Kubernetes. Sorry. Create. Work on Kubernetes. On um, yes. So Kubernetes on which platform? How many how many types of Kubernetes cluster? I have one year of experience in Kubernetes. Um, actually, which platform? In yeah, AWS platform. platform. You have work on AWS platform. AWS platform. Okay. Yeah, EKS, EKS, EKS. question. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what is persistent volume? What? Is, sorry? Persistent volume. What is persistent volume? Uh, 